Good evening all. Oh, so it's probably actually darker than this video lets on. Do you remember this? 20, sorry, 2008 lounge that I purchased from BCA. Basically, we're now, what, September? And uh, I finally moved it because I this is like one of the last cars that I need to work on. And I've moved it now um, away from mine because um, I think there's a few people, even though it's a private estate, there's a few people apparently were not overly happy with it being there. So I've moved it because I've, partly because I've got to get on with it. Anyway, sounds like I'm rambling, which I am to some extent. Um, there's a link in the description uh, in the top of here. Uh, bear with me, just here. Um, and it is in relation to when I purchased this car. Now, I purchased it for someone who decided they didn't want it in the end and then it's just sat around. It's 2008 and because it's sat around, it is proper like the battery's dead. And when I started it the other month, uh, the can, uh, not the cam belt, the alternator started to bellow smoke, seized on me and yeah, interesting. But anyway, Oh, the fan's kicked in, as you can hear. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly just go in here. Because you'll notice we've got a few little uh, messages, namely the steering and that down there. Anyway, quickly, listen to the exhaust. So it's not running particularly smoothly. I'm going to turn this off now. <sighs> Car's not running smoothly. I mean, there's a few things that I'm just going to briefly mention. Uh, right, yeah, so that battery's pretty much completely dead. So I managed to jump start it and get it here. Uh, it'll either take a nice charge and it'll be fine or I need to swap out the battery either way um, it meant that I literally had pretty much no power steering from the get-go although it came back halfway through but obviously that's because that battery is totally totally and utterly dead second thing is oil is not great haven't checked the coolant on that if I'm being honest so that needs to be checked the brake pedal, which I think I may have explained before, well I did explain before, is when I picked this up from Blackbush, the brake pedal pretty much get nothing for at least half the travel and then it starts to kick in. So that needs to be looked at. The handbrake pretty much comes up almost 90 degrees. The window here is, um, uh, well put it this way, throughout the winter, I was constantly doing this and pushing it up that way so something is broken in there um, otherwise <laughs> it actually runs well I say runs possibly apart from the misfire but there's no creaking there's no banging there's no crashing it runs all right gearbox is great clutch is all right so yeah, need to get this done, need to get it sorted, need to get it gone. So, uh, yeah, the first thing is going to be is to get that battery out and then it needs to be moved onto the driveway so it can be stripped down. Um, but I just thought, for those that have been on the channel for uh, so far this year and have either questioned to themselves where it went or anything like that, I still have it. So, so far it's cost me quite literally the BCA fee and it's cost me an alternator and um, my local mechanic who's just done it for me because I um, just don't have time. Um, it wasn't too bad. So, other than that, yeah, it's not too bad. Some might say just scrap it and um, you'll probably get more for the parts, but at the moment it's not too bad. But, um, yeah. I think that's pretty much it for this one. Um, last week's video was quite a short one on the sale of the colour therapy, so I do apologise for that. Uh, work's getting in the way a bit at the moment, and um, but I've got some other cars that I'm 
like the BMW that I want to work on and I've got footage for all of that so sort of normal sort of lengthy videos will return this coming weekend but um so bear with me on that one but uh yeah so uh I mean as I say it's been sat around for seven eight months so it's possibly developed a misfire not quite sure how that develops when it's been sat around but anyway um or oh, it's the coil pack again so those need to be checked before uh, it goes anywhere uh, and then I'll pretty much probably put it up for what I got for it just to get it gone yeah um I think that's going to be it uh, we are so close to a thousand so I really appreciate everyone that subscribed and um, yeah, I think that's going to be all I can say on this moment in time. I appreciate everyone's uh, views, everyone's comments, everyone's likes. Um, and uh, yeah, until next time, or until next Saturday, where we'll have another video on something, uh, I'll see you all again very, very soon. So yeah, see you all soon.